والذين يقولون ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم It's so beautiful this this category There's a group of people Allah loves because the only thing some they just ask Allah ya Allah just I don't want to see jahannam I don't want to take me away from jahannam I don't want to I don't want to be turned away from it Inna adhabaha kana gharaman innaha sa'at mustaqarran wa muqaman Its penalty is very heavy It's a huge penalty I can't bear it I can't even think about jahannam It is a terrible place to be for a little while or for a long time. I have to explain this part to all of you. It is a terrible place to be mustaqarran for a little while wa muqaman long term. Now, there are some people like I was I, I, I'm sure you've seen this on YouTube if you follow my videos. There was a young girl in Florida at a youth program. She asked me a question. She wrote it down. She said I do a lot of haram things. But I'm not going to hell forever, right? Because I'm Muslim. So even if I do go to hell, it will not be forever. This dua says, I don't want to go to Jahannam, not for a long time, not for a short time. I don't want to see it. Allah loves the people who understand that they don't want any part of Jahannam, short or long. There are some Muslims who say, of course I don't want to go to Jahannam forever, but I don't know, one weekend, maybe we can do that much haram. You know, this is from the Jews. Ayyama ma'dudat. They said a few days, we can handle it. I mean, come on. You know, after that is the Jannah, man. It's okay. So then you party here, you pay one weekend price, and then you go back to Jannah. What's the big deal? Allah says, those are not Ibadur Rahman. Ibadur Rahman are the people, the special people to Allah, are the people who say, Ya Allah, I don't want to see Jahannam, not for a day, not for two days, not for a minute, not for a second. And not permanently, I don't want anything to do with Jahannam. There is an ayah in Surah Al-Anbiya. There is one ayah in Surah Al-Anbiya that describes the least punishment in Jahannam. Jahannam is described in so many places in the Qur'an, but the least, 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 I mean the easy punishment of Jahannam is described in Surah Al-Anbiya. How easy is it? The person described has not tasted the fire. They have only tasted a breeze. You know when you have a fire, it has a hot wind? The hot wind is called lafha with a lamb. But the ayah doesn't use lafha. It says, وَلَا إِن مَسَتْهُمْ نَفْحَ With a noon. With a noon, it actually means a cool breeze, not a hot breeze. And nafha is used when, you know when you close the door and some hot air comes in? As you're closing the door? That the air that comes in or goes out, that's called nafha. Allah says, those people will taste a nafha, air. Not even inside Jahannam, where? Outside, they haven't even gone in yet. And they didn't taste fire, they didn't taste lava, they didn't eat anything, they, they're just exposed to air. And it touched them barely, masatum, it barely touched them. You know sometimes you're boiling or frying things and something comes out and it touches you, just a little bit. But that's not air, that's liquid. Allah doesn't say air, liquid will touch you. What does He say? Air will touch you and it will barely touch you for a split second. Split second it will touch you. That's it. And it won't even be the full-fledged air. It will be not نَفْحَةُ عَذَابِ رَبِّكَ It will be نَفْحَةٌ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّكَ مِنْ التَّقْلِيلِ It's to make it very little bit of air. It's just tiny little bit. So it's not even the whole door was opened and the wind came in. It was like a tiny little, you know how you have window inside the window? A little bit of it opened, and a little bit of an air came out, and you felt it on your skin, just for a split second. And then, this is the only torture this person received. There is nothing else yet. And they're not even in hell yet, they're still outside. That's evident from the word nafha. He says, Ya waylana, the person swears, I have never felt more torture ever in my life. This is the worst, I must be in the worst part of hell. Wail. The Rasul ﷺ describes wail as the worst part of hellfire, so scary that hell itself is afraid of it. Jahannam is afraid of wail. And this guy says, I must be in wail. Ya wailana. He's not even inside yet. The Muslim understands, the believer, the student of Qur'an understands, إِنَّهَا سَاءَتْ مُسْتَقَرًّا وَمُقَامًا I cannot be there for a little while and a long time, I know. I should not have the mentality of Bani Israel who said, Ah, لَن تَمَسَّنَ النَّارِ إِلَّا أَيَامَ مَعْدُودَاتِ Just a few days, we can handle it. You know, I've had long, hard, hot road trips outside with no air conditioning, I'm tough. No. 
إِنَّهَا سَاءَتْ مُسْتَقَرًا الْمُقَامَةِ This is a category by itself. These people are special to Allah. The only thing they ask Allah is, Ya Allah, I don't want Jahannam. I don't want Jahannam. Never, at all. That dua itself qualifies you to be special to Allah. SubhanAllah. What a mercy from Allah. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَقُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ آيَ قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَقُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ اقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب إن الله يغفر الذنوب الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم